Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Dalar's Tweet of Tactics. This will be the state of my account video. Now, it's been... It's been so long since I did one of these. It's My last one was on November 12th. Today is November the 30th. That I had to go back and I had to look to see what I actually did. Alright, so let's just dive straight into it. What's going on with the game? Well, a lot has happened with the game in the last little bit. Uh, we got our uh, fifth anniversary rewards. We've got announcements that we got a new raid coming out. Well, a new raid, kind of, but I'm still excited for the pit raid. Uh, Moff Gideon's going to be coming out. And then there's going to be something, something that happens with those uh, Mandalorian tunes. Okay, so let's dive right into it. My account, what have I been doing? Well, first of all, let's look at my stats. So the last time you saw me, I was running this team, but my Luke was not ultimated. <laughs> he did not have his ultimate. I don't think ultimated is a word. Uh, so yeah, this is this team's uh, rocket in arena. It doesn't drop very much. Um, we just went through 3v3. I did get Kyber. We are all wrapped up now. Uh, I only went 8 and 4 though. I really uh, crapped the bed and I lost two battles in my last week. But still made Kyber, so... Really, that's what's important. You know, of course, I'd like to win a lot more, but I still had fun in my fights. So, me. I am still an Alpha. I do believe we're still ninth highest GP. Um, casual TW Guild. Um, basically, Whale Retirement Guild, kind of. <laughs> but good people. Definitely good people. My GP. Um, I think I was just over 7 million last time. Can't really check. But I've added uh, a little bit. I'm at 7.15. 7,150,000. I got my fancy uh, Django Fett picture. I got the Grief picture in the last 3v3. As you see from ships, um, malevolence because uh, my payout's in an hour and 20 minutes, so I'm climbing. I'm actually just kind of waiting right now. We'll just go show you. We'll do ships first. Ships hasn't changed at all. Nothing, 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 nothing is new. So this guy looks like he jumped over me. His uh, payout is right now. My buddy Benito is uh, should be in first. He is good. And, all right. So then I will start climbing probably after this video. This is my payout right now in Arena Arena. But since I'm all alone in my Toon Arena, I've got about three hours... Before me till the last guy's payout, and I got about six hours after me till the next guy's payout. So I got a huge window where there's nobody but me, which is nice because I don't really got to worry about getting bumped. But it sucks too because I, I would really like to have someone to test with. But them's the breaks. All right. So last time you saw me, I was going for. I think I only had four people in this top lineup. It was uh, Rebel Fighters and Piet. So you see Piet, he's still only 5 star. I am doing 2 refreshes on him a day. Um, and I am buying his shards in shipments. I, I want to get him up to 7 star as quickly as possible. I am trying to kind of gather his gear. Uh, he just needs an eyeball there. And he just needs... Uh, I actually just put one of these on Quill. Otherwise this would be ready. But... Um, I'm He's getting there. I'll, I'll have his gear ready by the time he hits uh, 7 stars so that he can go to gear 12. But let's show you guys my team that I was working on last time you saw this video. We'll go Rebel Fighters. Rebel Fighters. Okay. Let's move me down over here so you can see them. Okay. So, Cardoon is now 7 star gear 12. That's new. Uh, Cassian is Relict, he is Zated, he is R3, and he is modded how I'm going to have him modded. 3, 6, E mods. Pow, also the same, Relic 3, Zated, you need his Zeta to make that team work. 3, 6, E mods. Speed set. Cassian's also speed set. Um, right or wrong, I gave him a potency, uh, cross, just so he can land those debuffs. Uh, buff immunity, especially. Uh, Lando, you know I had Lando. K2SO. I got K2SO Relict. And I got Hoth Rebel Scout Relict. Uh, Relic level 3. Modded appropriately. I think K2 doesn't have anything special for mods. Was that protection? 
No, tenacity. Tenacity, tenacity, tenacity. Because we all know they share tenacity under Mon Mothma. So, I got the team that is capable of killing Ray. Will I try it out in this next 5v5 season? I don't know. I don't know, because they're also going to be good on defense. But if I put it on defense, I'll put Cara Dune in. Alright, so I got them done. Pretty much done, other than Cara Dune. She's the last one to go. Um, eventually, I am going to do Scarif, Rebel, Pathfinder, and Bistan for their ship. But priority right now is... Imperial Troopers. So I got Stark done and Zated, R3. I uh, got the mods that he's going to have on him. He is 310. Oh no, 309. 309 speed, so he's decently fast. Veers is done as well. Modded how I want him. I do believe he's, what, two, 261. Fast enough. And then uh, Piet. I'm actually working on Death Trooper right now. Death Trooper is so very close to being done. I just need that furnace. We all know furnaces are a pain in the behind to farm. But then uh, I also am going to get Death Troopers mods on going. Uh, he's not that fast. What, 222, so he's going to get 8, so he's going to be 230. And then I'll buff up some of his mods and he'll be ready to go. 230 should be good enough, really. Um, and then the next one is Range Trooper after Death Trooper. Well, that shouldn't. that's not actually wholly accurate. The next one after Death Trooper is actually Darth Nihilus. Let's go back to just favorites. And we'll show you. So these are my current favorites. Um, I'm there's there's basically two rows. Um, I took out a couple, like I took out Bistan and Scare from Pathfinder because these guys are going to be needed for something. So I put them in there. Uh, I blew some of my gear horde on them. Right now, I think these are stun guns, which you know I got a fair number of stun guns banked and Carbontes banked, but I don't want to put them on there just yet. Uh, really, it's going to be a push to get the stars. Now, CG did say that they're going to release them for a limited time in Cantina. Now, their events are done. Their galactic challenges where you get their shards are done. So, I'm just kind of waiting until they drop them into the Cantina. Then I'm going to farm them like a mother trucker. So, as I said, uh, Death Troopers next to get six Seed, or Relic and six Seed. And then it's going to be Darth Nihilus. Darth Nihilus only needs these two pieces. So that's relatively quick. That's a energy, regular energy farm. That's a, a fleet energy farm. And then he's done. I don't have to worry about him. He's been on my to-do list forever. Forever. And then after those two, I'm going to be moving down here to Range Trooper. So really, it looks like I'm far away, but I'm not really. I just need one more of those to get that piece. And then I will be one short after Nihilus, and I'll have to farm up both of these. Because this is for Death Trooper. Oh, wait. And this is for Death Trooper as well. De uh, Nihilus takes the other one. But I'll get these passively through um, every day. You get a chance of getting three of those. So, And then you'll get them from the Assault Battles. So, really, the crunch is these droid callers. Look at I need, uh, what, one, two, three, four, five, plus him, so six. So I need 300 droid callers. I'm only halfway there for everyone on my favorites list. Not including um, Quill and IG once they get up. But then I'm not I'm not really too far away. I got that one. That one's close. Uh, this one is completely... I have nothing because Death Trooper needed that. And then this one's actually fairly close. So I should be able to get uh, Death Trooper, Nihilus, and Range Trooper all up fairly quickly. Uh, then I'm just going to be missing Piet. I don't know how long it's going to take me to get what that's 119 or 118 shards. But we'll do my damnedest to get Piet and then he'll be a, a, a focus farm to Relic. And then after him, I'm thinking really it's going to be... I'd like to do Cara Dune. Um, soldier's close, but Soldier's not really that important. The tanks, these two tanks are important. I'd love to do these two tanks for as quickly as possible, but we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it plays out. And then other people that I'd like to slide up onto that list after I'm done is, um, whereas Grief's not really a priority. Um, obviously you need Dooku for uh, SEE, and I am still not going for SEE. I do not want a Relic 7, uh, Sidious, Sith Marauder, and there was one more. Well, Dooku had to be taken up to Relic 6. I don't want to do that. 
I don't want to take Thrawn up to Relic 6. I don't want to take Krennic up to Relic 3. No, no, uh, uh, uh. no I don't want to do it. Um, Newt is going to be done someday. But then other than that, who is there? Um, he'll be he'll be needed to take up for Sidious. Or, or Sith Eternal. Uh, Tarkin needs to go up for Sith Eternal. Uh, but what? I want to get Zombie done. There's Zombie. And then, yeah, Bistan, Scarecrow, Pathfinder. And uh, Snowtrooper. Right? So there's still people that I want to get done. Even before I start worrying about going for Sith Eternal Emperor. So that's my characters. And this is going pretty quick. I, do, I get about one, one a week. Week and a half. I get one done. Um, obviously, these two won't take me very long. And then we'll see. So ships. Where am I at for ships? Uh, need two more events of the finalizer to come around. I'm not gonna pay for him though. I'm not. I'm not redoing. I'm not gonna refresh it the next time for crystals. There is uh, three finalizer events in December, so I will have him done by the end of the month. Tie bomber. I'm doing just the five every day. I'll get him up um, sooner. Soon enough. I'm not too worried about him being six star, but he'll be done, and then I'll be done on ships. Um, really, there's nothing. There's nothing to do on ships. I got zero red dots. And I've got a plenty of materials. Plenty of materials. Everybody's got their reinforcement maxed out. Ships, I'm all caught up. It's just, uh, farming up pilots. So ships is good. Unless they, unless they add new ships. And we are due some new ships. So we need a new first order bomber. And we need a resistance bomber. Or tanks. But I'm assuming they'd be bombers. All right. So that's what I'm farming. That's what I'm doing. That's my goal. I am staying true to the not chasing Sith Eternal Emperor. I don't want to blow to my top 80 with tunes I'm not going to use. And it's just going to make my GACs harder. Um, I'm at a point right now where I don't think I'm really lagging or hurting my guild. Uh, dark side territory battles. Even this one, we have a shot at 33 stars. So do I need Sith Eternal Emperor? No. No, I don't. As you see, we're in P3 right now. Uh, we haven't done any deployments. I'm sitting at 10. I've dropped two waves, though. I'm a little bit disappointed in that. Where am I? Yeah, I'll be, what, 54. I dropped two. I dropped one ship wave on this one. Because CG and their infinite wisdom still makes us use freaking executrix. Like, come on. Let us use our malevolence. That's stupid. And then I dropped a wave here today. Uh, my uh, my Newt, Wampa, Watt, Django, Dooku team failed me uh, for the first time ever. Usually that's a cakewalk. I got hung up on a shock T in wave four right here and dropped a wave. They killed Wampa, then they killed uh, Newt, and it was all over. But we should if if everyone moves mods and tries their best we we have a shot gp wise to hit 33 star all right last thing i'll show you guys that is uh relevant to my roster is my arena the arena's sh gotten shooken up a little bit so shooting star here i think his payout was wow like 10 hours ago eight hours ago and he's still in fourth so this team I don't know about your shard, but this team holds really well on my shard. My shard um, was very, is very, very, very SLKR heavy. And a lot of people... Well, I should say there's not that many that have Ray. I know Ray can beat this. but uh, And I know DR can beat this with Watch, but it seems like nobody really wants to try that counter. And I, You know what? Fair enough. Don't worry about it, guys. Uh, I do believe the counter was, what, DR... Vassalashawn, Fallen, Malak, Watt, and a fifth. I don't know. But we don't really fall much. I fell to seven overnight, and shooting here only fell to four. Let's just take a look at his Luke. His Luke is fast. 260 or 561. Some crazy mods there. Shooting 26, 20, 22, obviously 32. 24 and 24. Mine's only 242 right now, I do believe. Or no, 245? 240 something. Or 540 something. Sorry, I don't know why I keep saying 2 something. 
Um, so yeah, so I'm sitting in one. Uh, my payout's in six minutes. And as you can see, it is uh, Luke, SLKR, SLKR, Luke, SLKR. Um, no one's really crying about this anymore. Uh, I think everyone on my shard has a GL now, so this can be beat with SLKR. Uh, although Edwards, his uh, payout was like 16 hours ago, and he's still in sixth. Don't know what's going on here. Uh, Tiliusk, I know he watches this. Hey, T. He has his SLKR. He's working on his ultimate right now. And then uh, Ray Ray. Another Luke. SLKR. Or, uh, uh, Ray. Uh, Mully here. Haven't seen him in the top five for a long time. But he's got his Luke. I don't know why he still likes running this team. Doesn't really... Uh, he's not really vocal in Discord. but And he doesn't really... Uh, he doesn't really push for one anymore. I don't know. He's just content to get what he gets, I guess. And then it's just all SLKRs, pretty much. Hulu, I think he doesn't shoot that high. He doesn't really shoot for top five. Uh, this guy, Smithers. Um, I'm in a Discord with him. I know of him. I'm sure. I'm assuming as soon as he gets his ultimate, then he'll uh, he'll push. He'll put. And I think he's a couple hours after me for payout. Uh, SLKR, SLKR, Rays. Uh, we'll just, so you get the picture, it's ba basically SLKRs, and Rays, and a few Lukes. Let's see how far, okay, looks like around 40. 40 people with GLs, although there's another one, yeah, basically the top 40 of my arena is GLs, and most of these guys, you know, they must be just really slow behind, uh, no ultimate, ultimate, no ultimate. No ultimate, no ultimate. Yeah, no ultimate. As so you see, really, it's the, maybe the top 25 that are competitive. About that, top 25. So, uh, a pretty lazy arena. I know a lot of you guys have chimed in the comments saying, Wow, I wish I had that arena. My arena sucks. Everyone's got three Galactic Legends. Yeah, I know mine's pretty chill. Um, and pretty much all the top 20 guys are in uh, Shard Chat. So, yeah, that's about it, guys. That's the state of my account, November 30th, 2020. Um, I'm really into the game right now. I like the way it, I like the way it's set up. Uh, I'm try. you know, I, I have no, really, I have no qualms, no complaints. Um, I can't wait for the raid. I can't wait for Moff Gideon. If he's really, really good, make sure no one's looking in the, in the room. I'm, I might just wail on him. If he's really good. We'll see. Um, because it is uh, run up to Christmas, so uh, I've noticed that uh, ad rates are starting to double. So income isn't too shabby on the YouTube front. So here's some teams I'm just kind of thinking of. Nothing set in stone right now. But um, for GAC 5v5 defense, so it's going to be seven teams. Uh, I don't know about putting DR on defense, although I like DR on defense. This, uh, my, my Ray is a tenacity Ray now. Like, high, high, high tenacity. Uh, so I don't know if I need Zalbar in there. I'm kind of thinking I'd like to move Barris in there. But then who do I put up here for Padme? I kind of like to leave R2 up here. And I don't want to put Shock T because Shock T is good in my Luke team. This team obviously going down on defense. This team's killer. Really, really killer. You notice no GG. Right now, in my initial plans, I have no GG in my defense. Because... I have a sneaking suspicion we're going to see a lot of this on defense in this 5v5 season. And the kind of go-to counter for this is either gas or GG. So I have moved GG to my offense. And as you can see, this is kind of like where I go to see who I want to farm. Like, obviously, I want Shore. I want Newt. I want these two. I want both of those. Uh, I want both of all three of these. And I want these two. So... These are my uh, offensive teams earmarked right now. Um, this, so my thought process is this can kill, or this can kill SLKR if they set it on defense. This can kill Rays, unless I can use uh, Vader. And this can kill an opposing Jedi Knight or Jedi Master Luke, depending on the comp and depending on the speed. I would prefer to have my Luke up here. 
If they don't put SLKR down on defense, then I can shuffle these Jedi around to make, uh, make this the regular team with GMY and Jolie. And then I can shuffle Luke and uh, Old Ben up here for a better team. And I know I've used that comp in TW to kill opposing Jedi Master Lukes. So we'll see. I don't want to really, I want to leave Darth Revan on defense because that's uh, a really, really good, good team to still have on defense. I want to have this on defense. Um, this, debatable, but this still requires a good counter. Usually like uh, Jedi Knight Revan or Treya Thrawn. But if they use Thrawn, and then they can't really counter my Ray. So... We'll see how it goes. Just um, the, I've, I've tweaked these teams at least eight times. All right. So we are 20 minutes in. We're going to wrap it up there, guys. Thanks for coming. This is the state of my account. November 30th, 2020. Till next time, guys. Cheers. Stay loose. Please like, please subscribe, all that good stuff. Follow me over on Twitch. Later.